Are you a developer? I'm gonna show you in two minutes why you can and should love documentation. You should treat documentation as code. When you create a pull request with your new feature or bug fix, documentation should be kept as part of that PR so it can also be reviewed and knowledge transferred. But how do we write documentation? Let's write documentation as code. No, I don't mean let's write comments in line in our code, that's a separate discussion. I mean, let's use things like Markdown or even better, ASCII docs, where we can generate amazing documentation as code. And then use something like ASCII Doctor to make it into a website or a PDF or any other variety of formats with a click of a button or type of a command. Let me create a demo folder. And in here, if we create an ADOC file, an ADOC is very similar to a markdown, where one equals is the main title, and we can have some paragraph text underneath, subtitle, similar to the two hashes in markdown, subtitle, more text. You get the idea, sub subtitle, even more text. And if we save that, and if we run ASCII Doctor on that, it will generate index.html file. And if I open that up in the browser, you will see as our main title, paragraph text, subtitle, more text, sub subtitle, even more text. And we get when it was generated underneath. From that, we can also generate a PDF. If you want a full example, if you go to my GitHub page, then there's a book called Open Source Tips. This has actually been done in ASCII docs and the table of contents is automatically generated from the titles and the subtitles and you can change the styling, you can do these tips, you can do code blocks, all this great stuff. In addition to that, you get PDF download. So if I show you the PDF version, this is the same ASCII docs files. You can see the same table of contents, but it generates um, a PDF for you. And I can even click on it and go straight to that subsection. The also, also great thing about ASCII docs is you can include code snippets from code files and also include other ADOC files. So if you have any text that repeats in certain places, you don't have to copy and paste it like you would in Markdown. You can just include it. And as you change it in that one place, it changes it in multiple places.